Hi, I'm Tim Mackey. I'm one of the founders of The Bible Project. And the verse of the day today comes from the letter of James in the New Testament, uh, chapter 3, verse 13, which reads, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by their deeds that are done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Did James packs a punch, at least for me, when I read it. Um, essentially, what uh, James is calling us to do is redefine our very understanding of what wisdom is. Uh, if we think uh, that wisdom and understanding uh, means somehow enhancing our own reputation so that everybody looks at you and thinks that you're wise and awesome and smart, he says, no, that's foolishness. Uh, real wisdom is a life that that it's a life of someone's character who's shaped by seeking the good of others. That's what he means by a good life, because then he defines it. He says, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Real wisdom, according to the biblical tradition, is understanding uh, that I'm a, a deeply flawed person, uh, that I have lots of cracks in my character, and that I fail a lot. And when I get a realistic view of my own character, what it does is put me in a place of humility and wisdom to know that I need God's grace and love and mercy to transform me if I'm ever going to be the kind of human that God's called me to be. But second, it means really realizing that other people are more important than me. That's real wisdom, he says, the humility that comes from wisdom. When I really believe that other people are just as valuable or even more valuable and if I treat them and live them that way, all of a sudden, like doing good by other people isn't hard to do. It's actually like you're treating them how you really feel about them as better than yourself. And if you get a whole community of Jesus followers who are living by this humility that comes from wisdom, where, where they're elevating each other, um, all of a sudden you get a community that discovers a whole new way to live together in relationships. It's a whole different value set. This is true wisdom, James says, that deeds done in humility that come from true wisdom. That's so rad. I like this verse, James 3.13. I'm just kind of thinking about it right now. Um, so there you go. Let's take that with us today. Who are the people that you can, in humility, treat as more important than yourself? Uh, th th these are the truly wise ones, uh, James says.